What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going to show you right at the beginning of the video my cauliflower cream of wheat recipe because it's very highly demanded. It's what I post on my Snapchat almost like every day and I get a lot of questions asking what the heck is that with the peanut butter on top and that looks like oatmeal but not really. And it's pretty tricky to make but I'm going to put a voiceover over the tutorial for how to, how to make it so hopefully that smooths things out for you guys when you want to try it. It's a great high fiber breakfast that I have incorporated in my diet since prep so I really enjoy it and haven't gotten sick of it in months and months and months. So enjoy that recipe and I'll see you guys in the rest of the video. <laughs> What's up guys? So here's how to do the cauliflower cream of wheat. So I have a Nutribullet cup on my food scale there. I have the scale zeroed out and I'm doing six ounces of cauliflower into that cup right there. So what I'm doing in this speed, sped up clip is I'm breaking up the cauliflower into small pieces so that when I steam it in the microwave, all the pieces are going to get nice and soft. Um, and ready and easy to blend. So tiny pieces, six ounces, takes a little bit of time, but it makes it so worth it. Then I fill the cup up just below halfway with water. Um, you'll see that I point towards that line, just below halfway. Throw it in the microwave for three minutes and 30 seconds. I just type three, three, three because I'm lazy. Um, and then here I'm just making my coffee that I showed you in a different full day of eating video. Cashew milk, stevia drops, and one packet of Truvia. I do two squirts of this uh, stevia drops chocolate and it's absolutely delicious. Low calorie, macro friendly coffee. Cashew milk, if you guys didn't know, is literally one gram of fat and nothing else for half a cup, which is basically nothing. So one packet of Truvia, coffee's done. And here, this is the clip after the three minutes and 30 seconds have gone by. I show you the blender attachment that I'm using and I throw it on the Nutribullet. 12 seconds later. And when you don't feel like there's any bumps or big pieces in there, you'll be able to feel it as you're blending it. Take it out, keep the cup face down so that you don't like lose all the cauliflower. And here you can see I'm opening it, but tilting it over the bowl so that when it comes open and all the steam comes out, everything just falls right into the bowl. That is the, I've perfected this with lots of practice. It can get very messy if you don't do it this way. So just, just open it over top of the bowl. And if you need to be safer, then just do it over the sink. Um, so here I'm just scraping out all the extra cauliflower that was left in the blender cup and cleaning that off. Here's the cream of wheat that I used, the one minute. And I'm pouring out a serving into the bowl right there. And then after that, just fold it a couple times and mix it very, very thoroughly so that all of the grains in the cream of wheat get around to the cauliflower. And there's already plenty of water in there because cauliflower is a vegetable. Vegetables are very water dense. So when you blend it up like that, it releases water as well as the water we added. So you don't have to worry about adding water to this mixture. Just microwave it for one minute and 10 seconds. And then here I'm doing uh, 92 grams of egg whites, so two servings of egg whites, mixing that all together so it's nice and thoroughly mixed in together, and then I'm going to be throwing that in the microwave again for a minute and 10 seconds. Um, so that's what you're seeing here, and then after that, I'm pulling it out of the microwave and putting a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of flax chia blend in there for some fiber and some flavor. Um, if you guys didn't know, a teaspoon is three grams of each of those. Um, and then just mix it thoroughly again. And then I'm going to show you guys what it should look like. It should take on this browner color. And then last time in the microwave, we're going to do 45 to 55 seconds, depending on how like liquidy it looks and how strong your microwave is. My microwave is personally very weak, just for reference. So. 
most microwaves I can heat up like a frozen, not a frozen, but like a meal prep. I can heat up a meal prep for like a minute in everyone else's microwave and I have to do like two and a half in mine. So here I'm just topping it with peanut butter, making sure to get all of that off the spoon. And you can see I have the peanut butter jar on the scale. You zero the scale and you scoop the peanut butter out. That is how you get the most accurate measurement and are able to lick the spoon. Um, and then here I'm just cutting up some strawberries and shoving them on the other side of the bowl so that they're not like touching the peanut butter. Because what I like to do is I like to eat the peanut butter first. And, or sorry, I like to eat everything except the peanut butter first and leave the peanut butter for last. So this is what the end product looks like that you guys always see on my Snapchat. And then what I do to cool it down because it is very hot at this point, I just throw it in the freezer for like five to 10 minutes and you'll see what I do in the meantime. All right guys, now is the time to take my shot of the day. Apple cider vinegar. So I'm gonna do it in this clear cup so you can see that I drink the whole thing because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this a lot of days without filming it for something. So you put 15 milliliters, which is not a lot, like this much. It's like a tablespoon is how much it is. And it smells terrible. And you're supposed to add like lemon to it. But I don't have lemon. So I'm just gonna drink it with this much water. Still smells potent as fuck. And I chase with strawberries. I already weighed them out, so here we go. Bottoms up. Almost got all the way. Ugh. Cheers. I'm getting better at it. Fun fact. First time I took it two days ago, I did not read how many, how much you're supposed to take. So I filled this with pure apple cider vinegar, <laughs> and I took the shot <laughs> like a fucking idiot. I was literally on the floor, like screaming for like ten minutes because of how bad it burned my throat and how terrible it tasted. If you dilute it with water, it's a little bit better. Tolerable. Eh. Almost tolerable. So, if you're wondering why I'm torturing myself, um, Apple cider vinegar is very good for your digestion, so it allows you to digest your food better and get more nutrients out of your foods because it increases the acidity in your stomach and also it helps with improving insulin sensitivity and lowering blood sugar and lowering bad cholesterol so if you have issues with cholesterol and blood uh, and uh, blood sugar and everything like that like obviously it's not going to cure you unless you actually like change your diet and change your lifestyle or like get it treated but it is helpful so it can add it's like a supplement like it can add to what you're already doing or I've read that it can help with weight loss um, as well because it suppresses your appetite and helps with your digestion so it's kind of like fiber like it keeps you fuller for longer um, but yeah it improves your insulin sensitivity that's a big one um, that made me want to try it and uh, it's also good for gas and bloating and so my body is really prone to gas and bloating from just a lot of foods so 
I decided I would give it a try. Shout out to Ben Pakulski for making me want to torture myself with apple cider vinegar. He takes some before every single meal, like 15 minutes before every meal. I'm just gonna stick with once a day. But yeah, that's apple cider vinegar for ya. Um, I've also heard that, I've also heard that this brand is like the most potent and like terrible and uh, and people have told me that like there's more to that there's more tolerable brands so hopefully that's true and I will switch but why did you buy it? because I didn't know when I bought it so after I took that disgusting shot of apple cider vinegar I'm just taking the oats out of cauliflower human wheat sorry out of the freezer and putting 50 milliliters of cashew milk on there um, and what I do is I just mix that into the cream of wheat and eat it and it makes it a better texture. Um, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, thumbs up the video, and I'll see you guys later.